Hey everyone, it's Leo. This is a quick tip about using Google Docs to do some fancy formatting. I've been asked by a few, how do I do the uh, Board of Directors minutes with these bulleted lists that automatically number the lists and indent them. And that is by using headings. Heading 1, as you can see up here. Heading 2. Heading 3. And then we could also do a heading 4 out here. So let's say right here I wanted to do a, a heading two as a sub bulleted item so this is sub item two heading two and then if I do a control two it changes that to a heading two and indents it automatically and numbers it automatically now if I do a sub item three heading three and I do control three I get a little indention and automatically numbered out to item three now I could also do that just by uh, select going anywhere on that text and doing the pull down here of heading four would move it out to heading four you know whatever and make it back a heading three or I could make it a heading two to make it the same as the list above it now how do I do that we do that by a couple of different things this is all HTML here in these Google Docs first we have some CSS that actually does the counting for us so here's the CSS that we're editing and if you come down here to these sections it does sections with counters counter dash reset colon h1 counter dash reset table counter dash count uh, sections h1 counter increment h1 counter reset h2 and this is up here was for tables I'm sorry but here's h1 h2 then you do H3 and you can just go down through here and see how it's uh, incrementing all those out to H4 and you can continue copying these and pasting them in and doing uh, more uh, indentions if you wanted to H5, H6, H7, whatever, however deep you wanted to go. So that's how those work and I could uh, send you that template if you want to see it or whatever. Now if you come over here and you look at the, you also have to do some of the editing in the HTML you have to put a div statement in to tell it where to start doing the the counting like if you notice in our document back here these first two h1 types are not numbered but executive report is numbered that's because the div statement is right above the executive report and you have to put this div in to tell the document where to start numbering the heading types and you do that with this little div class equals sections in quotes and then you have to close that wherever you want to end the numbering so I end the numbering right here below this last uh, unfinished business is numbered so that last closing of the div statement does that all of these h1s down here will not be numbered they'll just be h1 type so anyway that's how you do it Give me a call or uh, shoot me an email if you want to know any details about it. You can reach me at leo at eokhq.com or follow me on Twitter at lrknighht. See ya.